Here it is, the return of the one, the only, the Q&A series, baby! We'll be doing these every other month, so hey, it's February! Welcome to my Q&A! I'll be answering questions that you guys asked me, and if you want to ask me more questions in the future, all you gotta do is leave them in the comments below. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to more of me talking. <laughs> Waffles asks, question, did you ever have a childhood dream? If so, what the heck was it? How oh, well, my friend, I, I really wanted to do American Idol when I was a kid. <laughs> I grew up always watching American Idol and I loved Kelly Clarkson. I listened to way too much of her music growing up and I was like, I wanna, I wanna do that. But I never actually got around to doing that. But hey, in a way, I ended up accomplishing it since I make music sometimes now on YouTube. That's a win for me, honestly. Altercall asks, in Splatoon 3, could there be some kind of splat tube or recording feature maybe for Splatoon videos and clips? So currently Splatoon 2 doesn't have very much of a way to share clips unless you just grab them right from your controller. But I think they'd benefit a lot if we had any kind of replay system. Like, even the simplest thing, like being able to save an entire match. I'll be honest, I, I don't know if they'll have a replay system. I mean, they have it in Smash. We could get it. Tanner wants to ask, what's one thing that you don't like about the Splatoon series? It would probably just be the accessibility issues that we have for newer players. It takes so much time and effort to finally be able to get things like good gear, good weapons, be able to understand the game, that when you try to get your friends to play Splatoon for the first time, it can be a really confusing and overwhelming experience. Mage Papoo asks simply, NZAP or Kenza Slashy Machine? I like the Kenza Slashy Machine aesthetically, but the splashdown exists, sobbing, crying. If I want to win, <laughs> I'm picking the NZAP. Michael says, name one franchise that you really wanted to get into, but couldn't find the time to dive deep into it. Ooh, I hate to be that guy, but I know so little about Star Wars. Like, I know there's like nine movies. I can tell you that I've never watched one end to end, because it's just like my brain is like, oh, well, if you start watching this Star Wars movie, you gotta watch like all of them. So you know what's going on. And because I never was willing to commit to watching all the movies in a short span of time, my brain was like, actually, you know, you don't, you don't have to get into that one. You can just skip that. So anytime my friends talk about Star Wars to this day, I'm just like, yeah, I, t I totally, yeah, I totally know what's going on. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Rodrigo asks, am I secretly Dialga? No, 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 not at all. No, not at all. I don't know what would make you think that at all. No. Cookie Gary asks a simple question. White, milk, or dark chocolate? Yeah, I gotta know. It's simple. It's the dark chocolate. Honestly, I'll eat any that I'm given, but... If I have to choose between the three, we're going with the dark chocolate. Uh, our local Trader Joe's has these like super dark chocolates that have like a larger amount of cocoa than normal. And oh my God, they're so good. They're expensive, but they're so good. Aura asks, what the heck do you think the new Salmon King is? I would laugh so hard if the Salmon King is some kind of red herring. We're supposed to think that he's for Salmon Run, but he's really related to the single player, but Nintendo just didn't want to say that yet. <laughs> I, I don't think that's the case. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be like a new boss during Salmon Run. I'm kind of hoping that he has more importance than simply being just like one of the specialized waves like Mothership, but we'll find out when we get closer. I, as I mentioned in a different video, would really like his special wave maybe to be that we have to go to him, get eggs and run them back to the basket, which can be really hard for some people if they spend too much time by the shoreline. Hamza asks, if you could bring two Pokemon into the Splatoon world, what would they be? Also, assuming you're an Inkling or an Octoling in the Splatoon world, I think that it would be funny to have a Jellicent. <laughs> Just that so, like, the jellyfish can kind of, like, compare themselves to him. I, I think that would just be fun. And then I would just want to have a bird. I honestly have no idea how the Inklings and Octolings travel around. We know in Splatoon 3 we have access to those little espresso machines to make things easy. But wouldn't it be awesome just to fly around on your giant bird Pokemon? <laughs> Not even need to use the espresso machines. Just, you just go. 
I also was asked, what would you do if Sheldon asked you to make a weapon that must be based off of a mammal, which I really, <laughs> I really hope we don't have mammals in Splatoon 3, and needed to have ink be shot out at the speed of sound. Okay, hear me out. This is the weapon we're gonna call the Spine Scythe. You know, because mammals have spines, usually. You throw it, it expands very fast, like little, like little, like little needles come flying out of it, and then it dissipates. That's it. Or, or hear me out, maybe you want to just throw it and then it does the same thing. It like hits a wall and then disappears. So it could be like some, almost some javelin-like weapon that maybe shoots out little tiny shots outside of it. I think that'd be fun. Kylie asks, best type of bread. Now, the Long Islander in me wants to say a bagel and call it a day, but I'm going to be real with you, as lovely as a bagel is, you can't go too much further than a piece of pumpernickel bread. Simple. Good. You put a little bit of cream cheese, a little jelly maybe? Oh, you have the, you have the perfect breakfast. There are these little tiny pumpernickel bread rolls that my mom has brought home a couple of times from like the store. I don't know, I don't know which store she gets them from. They are like actually heaven. I would do anything to find those stupid rolls again. Okuyasu asks, do you think we'll get another game mode? Something that isn't anything like uh, related to Salmon Run or something that's new and fresh? I really still think that we are not gonna see Clam Blitz in Splatoon 3. Until the moment that Clam Blitz is confirmed, I'm gonna believe that it's not gonna be there. I think that we're gonna take Clam Blitz and shove it out the window for some kind of ranked mode that we just straight up haven't seen yet. I don't think it's gonna be any of the unused modes like the Rocket mode or the 8-Ball mode. I think they'll make something brand new, just that so things make sense. <laughs> For all we know, Nintendo could just be like, hey, we didn't feel like coding clam blitz, so uh, here's here's three modes. Splatoon, three modes. Splazone, Raymaker, Tower Control. Buh bye Ultra Melon asks, what the heck are your thoughts on an open world Splatoon game like Pokemon or Minecraft? I think it'd be really fun to have a sandbox style Splatoon game where you could just paint to your heart's content, not confined by anything like the private battle timer or the recon timer. I guess you could say that if you had a very large open area, people could make very intricate like drawings on the ground using their turf abilities. Or you could have a large area to collect resources, get specials maybe obtain better gear, and then you go into a free-for-all area in the middle where everybody can just fight and get points. Kind of like the uh, wilderness in RuneScape. <laughs> a couple of people were asking me about my usage of non-Nintendo consoles, and I can say that uh, I, I got these, aka a PlayStation 1 and a PlayStation 2, baby. Everything else I own is Nintendo, whoopsie-daisy. But if I were to get another console, I definitely would want to get a PS5. Just because I would really want to play that Spider-Man game. That's it. <laughs> I, I, I think the Spider-Man game is neat. And I'm sure there's other games that will come out on it eventually that I'll be like, dang, PS5 would be pretty, pretty nice right now. Squimmon asks, why does 1 plus 1 equal 1? Alright, so the only way that this is working, Squidman, is if somebody gave you some really bad notation, okay? Maybe somebody out there decided to write this out showing some rounding, and the rounding was really bad. Like, they're just constantly rounding up no matter what. Because, you know, uh, 0.4 rounded up could be 1, uh, so why not 0.4 plus 0.4 equals 0.8? But, you know, it just looks like ones because some ding-dong decided to change the notation after the fact. That's how we're making that work. Stan asks, hey Vic, here's my question for the next Q&A. If we get apartments in Splatoon 3, what kind of items would you want to have in them? So, I think it'd be really fun if we could customize it with like little food items and toys and achievement markers. Like, come on, what if your inkling left a little snack by accident on the table? Especially if your inkling is like cute and forgetting. That would be just funny to see. I would love for us to just be able to have like fun little knickknacks lying around. Even if they're just like representations of us accomplishing certain things. Like uh, let's say that the medals that we have in Splatoon 2 come back. The ones that have to do with getting a certain amount of paint. Maybe over time you can start like putting them on the wall and the more of them that you get, the more of them that show up in that case. It would inspire people for sure to start trying out a variety of new weapons. 
As a content creator, it would also mean that people could just make sure they play in games no matter what. Even if they're not guaranteed to play with me, they would at least have people to play with instead of just constantly having to wait on the side for a chance to hop on into the room. It would make it just a much smoother experience for everybody playing Splatoon. Shad says, okay Vic, if you could make a Splatoon crossover with any franchise you wanted, what would you pick? Alright, so, imagine a separate minigame inside of Splatoon 3, maybe even within those apartments, right? Right? It's a crossover with Cooking Mama. <laughs> you can make a bunch of cute little foods for yourself that maybe you can use in-game for some purpose. Like, uh, maybe instead of having to require Krusty Sean to get you those drink tickets, maybe you're able to just make your own foods for once. Maybe there's some kind of limitation that prevents you from making too many of them, but I think it'd be fun to be able to make your own snacks and just do whatever you like. Maybe there's a cute mini game associated with it, or maybe you have to collect a certain item that exists on the mini map to be able to make food. I just think it'd be fun, and I just really like Cooking Mama. <laughs> Delusional asks, do you think it's still a good idea for Nintendo to do one more Splatfest the four Splatoon 3 drops? I would still like them to do it, just because it, you know, reminds people that Splatoon exists, and maybe they should continue to get better at the game before Splatoon 3 comes out. I don't think there's any harm in doing another Splatfest, but I'm kind of skeptical that they'll do one at this point, especially if we're gonna get a Splatfest when we get to, like, the test fire for Splatoon 3, assuming that there is a test fire. But maybe me talking about this will jinx it to be wrong, and then we'll get a Splatfest uh, tomorrow! Tomorrow being whenever you watch this video, it doesn't matter if it's in February or if it's in, like, July, smiley face emoji. Blue asks, how far do you think I can punt this Cyndaquil? Oh, no, don't... Don't do the no, 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 oh, oh. Jay says, Happy New Year! <laughs> it's February, oops. Uh, what is a big goal you want to achieve inside the Splatoon games? I want to be able to just aim with Charger more regularly and not miss, you know? I think one way to achieve that is I'm just gonna have to take some time to get a couple of weapon medals with Charger in Splatoon 2. And that should naturally proceed to get me better at the game. I hope. Lol. But you know what I also have to get better at doing? Telling people to put their questions down here in the comments. So I'm saying it again. If you would like to take part in the April Q&A, leave a comment down below and I just might answer it. Thank you for listening, and I hope you had a bit of fun. If you enjoy these Q&As, don't forget to subscribe, because I'll do more of them. We're back to doing these regularly again, since I kind of <laughs> I kind of fell off for a little while. Thank you for enjoying the video, and I hope that you enjoy waiting around for Splatoon 3. Who knows? Maybe some people out here are already enjoying Splatoon 3 when they're listening to this video. You know, in the future. Goodbye!